Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and I want to show you some of my Shrek action figures, and these are the only ones I have. Now, um, these two here, Shrek and Donkey, they were made by MGA for the uh, Shrek the Third movie. And then this one right here, still in its packaging, is Princess Fiona, and uh, she was made for the first movie by McFarlane. But you can see on the back of the um, McFarlane box, they made all kinds of toys for the first movie. But um, I got a, just a, a little mishmash of uh, different action figures made over the time for the uh, Shrek franchise. So let's go ahead and unbox uh, Princess Fiona over here. All right, this is a vintage box, guys. Oh, and that came off really nicely. I'm surprised. So here we go. It's got a little tree branch here and a little uh, blue bird. If you guys remember in the first movie, there's a part where she's singing louder and louder. And then this bird just kind of uh, kind of explodes. I believe that's that's where it happens. Now there's another variant of the uh, Princess Fiona, also made by McFarlane, where uh, it, she comes with a uh, a rat on a stick, because in the first movie, I you know she turns into an ogre, she eats a rat, um, stuff like that. So here's here's a little, nice little branch. Here's a bird's nest here, and let's take uh, Fiona out. I think it's uh, it's a decent height comparison. I think Shrek should be a little bit taller, but again, these are made by, by different uh, toy makers. Um, McFarlane made their own Shrek figure. I, he's probably taller than this, but uh, I like the one made by MGA just because uh, this one, let me show you, this one's actually poseable here, kind of. So you could, you could twist his head left and right. It's on a swivel. His arms go up and down, and then also at the, um, at the elbow, he, uh, there's a little joint there so you can do that. His wrist also swivels here on both his left and right hand. Now, I wish there was a waist articulation where he can swivel, but he can't. So he's he's really stiff from the torso uh, down to his hips, unfortunately. So you can't you can't twist him at all. But his legs, or at least his uh, knees, bend. You can't even bend his legs. But if you think this is bad, you should see the McFarlane version. There is like. Oh gosh, it's like very, very, it's even less articulation than, than this one. So I wanted a Shrek figure that I can move a little bit. So that's Shrek. Uh, Donkey doesn't do much, but his mouth moves. See that? Because he's, he's known for talking and he never stops talking. And he says like the dumbest things. Oh, his head also goes left and right. Now as for uh, Fiona, let's put these guys in the back here. Fiona. If I recall correctly, she does do a little uh, kick action here. Let me see. Wait. Am I not doing that right? Wait. She's supposed to kick. Shoot. Well, she might be broken. So I'm pretty sure that you would just do this and then she would kick out like that. But there you go. Hacha! So, but I, I think she looks great though in her, her in her human form. I wish I could uh, point her head down though, because her head seems to be st stuck, looking out, you know, outward, you know, like a princess. She's like, oh, when will my prince come and save me? Um, you could swivel her head left and right. Her arms do go up and down, but there's no articulation in her elbows at all. It's just one giant piece for each arm. And this left arm looks really loose right now. Um, here's in, under her blouse, her dress. So the, the, the dress portion, it's uh, kind of rubbery, but it's a light rubber so that you can, you can flex it a little bit. Her legs don't move at all, except for this one that's supposed to kick, but it doesn't kick. It's, that's okay, whatever. But I, I do like the detail. Her, her tail here on her hair, it's pretty flexible too. So let me uh, put them next to each other again. So we can see the, the trio together. So I, I, I think they still look good together even though they're not made by the same company. Um, the McFarlane Shrek, Shreks, they, they do look pretty good. So uh, let me see. Where are they at? Well, one of these, but I, I believe there's like barely any articulation on him though. So whatever. Oh, you can see the other Fiona, where she has the 
the rat on a stick. I don't know if you guys collect these. Um, I tried looking for videos on the Shrek action figures. Um, I found some in Spanish. I haven't really found that many. Maybe I was using the wrong search words. But uh, I'm going to add to the collection of uh, YouTube videos that, um, that talks about these Shrek action figures. So again, uh, uh, these two right here. These were made for Shrek the Third. That's Shrek Part Three. That's the one with uh, Prince Charming, Arthur, and then this uh, Fiona was made for the first movie, which is my my favorite of the uh, of the Shrek franchise. It's very funny, and yeah, I just like the characters more in that one. I mean, the way that they're, I, I just like it more. It's a better story.